Hi guys and welcome to Mana Lords. This game is still in early access so there may be bugs, some functions that aren't fully working in this game so please be mindful um, as I continue through it that these may pop up from time to time. Now I'm going to be transparent, I don't fully remember what this game is about but I remember being very disappointed when I missed the beta by like a day <laughs> um, and because I, I had been quite excited to play it from what I had seen of the game so I do remember that distinct feeling so I, this is definitely a game I wanted to play I just haven't like rechecked gameplay to remind myself what this game is about but anyway we're heading into Mana Lords. So, uh, do I get to, oh, I can name myself. What do I want to be? Whom do I want to be? Well, actually, we've got to choose from all these portraits, so we should pick somebody and pick a name that suits them. What about this stern lass? She looks very stern indeed. <gasps> How about her? She looks old and wise and, ooh, he looks entertaining, if nothing else. You know what? Let's go with him. He seems, he seems like a hoot. Would he be called Fritz? Uh, is there like a, a random dead <laughs> Fritz seems fine, I guess. Uh, load of custom texture, load coat of arms, save coat of arms. Okay, so I can manually pick my coat of arms. Okay, well, he looks quite bardic is uh, the feeling I got here. This music is amazing. What kind of coat of arms do I actually like? I don't think I've ever sat down and thought about that. I think I like this kind of coat of arms, but with the emblems, it gets very chaotic. I don't even think that exists historically, I'm going to be honest. I've never seen that coat of arms in medieval times. Should I just go for something simple? I feel like I should go for something simple. Background, red. I mean, he is wearing red. Oh, I can't pick my own shade. What about a maroon? A more muted tone. That suits him a little better. Uh, then we have... I don't know quite what we're on, but let's just click that. That seems to be just generic. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Ooh, that's interesting. As is that. Actually, that could look quite interesting. Hold on, let me just do that for a second. Nah, actually, yeah. in hindsight, I don't like it. That's quite cute. Although, can I put a fleur de lis on it? Is there a fleur de lis? There has to be, surely. I'm not sure. Yeah, there she is. Okay, in that case, we probably shouldn't worry about that, but we'll work with it. In fact, let's just go with that. Not really my secondary color of choice. Much better. Although, should I flip it and have a black moon? Black moon. Oh, it's not really black, it's grey, but whatever. Let's make it black. There. There we go. And then put a fleur de lis on it. Seems a bit crowded, but I can work with that. Uh, is gold an option? Oh, that's yellow. Is yellow the closest thing we have to gold? Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is secondary? This is secondary colour. Is that the outline? Yes, it's the outline. Okay. Uh. Ugh. Mm. What was on? It was on. That's what it was. Okay. I actually didn't mind that. It wasn't quite what I was going for. You know, I could also just put gold. And just have a solid flow to lead. You know what? I like that. It's not too complicated. Oh, we could have flowers though. No, I'm a flow to lead person. I love the flow to lead. There we go, Fritz. <laughs> what a name. That is your uh, coat of arms, good sir. Tiling angle. We don't have to worry about that. That looks absolutely fine. Yes, continue. Game setup. Scenario templates. Uh, should I just start from one side and work my way across? Scenario templates, rise to prosperity. Premise, fulfill the requirements of your citizens. Plan and rule your medieval town as you see fit without worrying about combat. Ah. Okay. That seems like a nice way to introduce myself to the game. But if these scenarios are actually quite time consuming, I would then miss out on combat. Uh, cause it would take too long. Victory conditions, reach a large town settlement level. After that, you may choose to continue in the endless mode. 
Restoring the peace, two territories in the north are claimed by the illegitimate baron whose castle is located off the map. Bennett camps reside in the other unclaimed regions. Build and expand at your own pace. When ready, challenge the baron for the northern territories. Conquer every region. And on the edge, I am... That P should be capitalized and that E should be capitalized. <laughs> Clearly in proofreading mode. Uh, premise, score your city and raise forces as quickly as you can. Well, I would fail at that, may I just say. The lands are pestered by raiders and undefended settlements will quickly perish. Victory conditions, survive all the attacks. Which it would tell you how many there were. And reach the large town settlement level. Well, I guess I, the attacks probably just keep coming until uh, you reach large, uh, the large town. Uh, I'm probably just going to go with Rise to Prosperity. I'd like to do all three, and when the game officially comes out, <laughs> uh, we can continue from there. But I would like to not have to worry about combat initially, so I can just work out how the city building aspect goes, and then we can expand out to combat here. So, template difficulty, uh, I mean, default sounds all right. And go grow and goal is growth, so reach large town settlement. Uh, opponents off because we're just building the town. I know that may sound boring to some people, but consider this a tutorial. I want to understand how the game works before I start getting myself killed. Off map adversary absent. Perfect. No raiders, no banner camps, no spawn limits. We're starting spring. Starting supply is standard. Uh, no armament deliveries, no free weapon delivery, it's probably not necessary because I'm not killing anybody. Residential requirements, ballast, town will not grow if requirements are filled. Yep, that sounds rational. Uh, approval, medium penalty, approval factors have an average impact on pop- Ugh, Okay, let's keep that low. Well placement, underground water, players may only place wells on top of underground water. That makes perfect sense as well. Weather events, balanced. Players get a warning if supplies get soaked, and when the next rain comes, they may get destroyed. Oh dear. A chance of random droughts <laughs> in the summers, don't know why it's capitalized, which may kill crops. Rare fires caused by thunderstorms. Oh my god, this game is hard to survive in. Okay, yeah, let's just take the base game, and we'll just build off that, I think. Begin. Please give me a tutorial. <laughs> I'd like to learn how to play the game easily. <laughs> um, Having to figure it out myself. Wow. Um, Mud Town is awesome. <laughs> okay, a new message. Victory condition growth. Breach large town settlement to achieve victory. Prosperity awaits. Gotcha. In Manor Lords, families need food and fuel and roof above their heads to survive. Supplies. Can I pause? Is pausing a button? Yes. Now, does this use sim controls? Alas, it does not. <laughs> you know, life would be simpler if these kinds of games had the, the sims controls, which is like uh, tilde one, two, three for your speeds and for pause. Um, yeah, it's great to have shortcuts. Look, I've played the sims all my life. <laughs> I'm in the habit of using those controls. Anyway, okay. Supplies in the region panel above shows I'm going to go with the grammar. Uh, how much you've got left. Okay. They need food. Oh, so we don't separate supplies. It's just generic. Number of months before supplies run out. Every burgage plot. What's burgage? Excuse me while I uh, look on my phone for the word burgage. Hello. Burr. The, yeah, okay, I double bead, but it knew what I meant. Okay, no, it didn't know what I meant. Yeah! <sighs> Start again. Burr Gidge. In England and Scotland, tenure by which land or property in a town was held in return for service or annual rent. I really don't think I understand that, but I guess I guess land we're renting out to the people, I suppose. Okay, every burgage plot consumes one food and one fuel per month. Fuel consumption in the winter is doubled. Well, we're in spring, so thankfully we've got a while before we have to worry about that. Additionally, some workplaces consume one fuel per month as well. So I currently have four months of fuel and I have no fuel consumption, so that's not an issue. Okay, got all Fritz up here in the corner. Visit mode. View a very early in development, expect glitches. Press to walk around your town in third person mode. Oh, that's amazing. 
That's fantastic. Okay, I've got treasury, your personal money, usually, I'm sorry, I know I should be following the tutorial, but you know me, I like to just hover over things. Usually collected from taxes, and I can also point out, because my screen is massive for 4K, I could barely read this, can be used for diplomacy, hiring retinue and mercenaries, as well as settling a new region. Build a mana to enable taxation in any controlled region. I need a mana, post haste. Get them taxes happening. Influence, required for diplomacy and pressing claims, can be gained from raising the settlement level, enacting a policy, conquering bandit camps, and upgrading your churches and manors. And a royal tax, so tax to be paid. Kings, oh, I've got to pay to the king? Ugh. King's favor, can be used for diplomatic purposes. Ow, my funny bone, including pressing and refuting claims. Okay. Okay. Got it. I think I've accidentally pressed that button. I'm going to ignore that. Okay. It's March. So what do I do? <laughs> I need a tutorial on what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay. Homeless people's tents. So I guess we need to get them uh, some homes. Upgrade to a worker camp. Provides crude living space for five families. Contrary to burgage plots, can't be upgraded or expanded and may cause a loss of approval. Best suited as worker accommodations for outposts. Well, this isn't an outpost. So I guess we have to construct a home for these people. Can I tell them to work? They don't seem to be doing any work. Hi. Unassigned. How do I click on these people? Excuse me. Can you guys do something constructive? Negative. Okay, so I don't click on the- Oh! Yo! Okay. I can't click on them directly. This view shows you which regions are under whose control. You can press claims to other regions when you gain enough influence. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. So here's my camp. No, no. Here's my- No, no. Where are we? Oh, we're here. Okay, so I've got a clay deposit there. I've got a stone deposit, rich to the northeast, a berry deposit, seasonal growing, which take advantage of that, wild animals, ooh, that doesn't feel safe, and iron deposits. Okay, so anyway, we need homes, homelessness. These people wait for more burgage plots, causes a loss of approval and possibility of freezing in winters. Homeless cannot be a part of militia units either. Yeah, can you guys do something constructive though? Okay, no recent events. Roads? Roads? Good lord. Construction, army, map, help, settings. Okay, construction. What are my options? A logging camp. Woodcutters. Every region and manor lords has strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check all the resource deposits as well as investigate the soil fertility. Soil fertility? Oh my god, this seems way more complex than I was thinking. Before deciding on direction of your town. I mean, it's a town. Can I not just focus on getting people homes first? Oh, well, overlays. If your region has weak fertility, consider setting up trade early. Okay, 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 okay. So you want to put the homes down here because there is water source here. All right, makes sense. Emma fertility, what's Emma? I don't know what Emma is. Does green mean good and yellow mean not so good? Flax fertility, barley fertility, rye fertility. Oh yes, okay, I see, I see the plus signs, yep. Smell, work in progress, ugh. And fire hazard, okay, no overlay for the moment, thank you. Okay, is that permanently there? I wish there was like a toggle you could turn it on and off on the side. Anyway, we have a logging camp. Uh, a world cutter's lodge, saw pit, forester's hut, charcoal kiln. It requires charcoal burning, I guess, as a research thing. Uh, hunting camp, forager hut. Where's like homes? Gathering, mining, logistics, logistics, residential. A burgage plot, level one. How many people live here? A single family or two families when expanded. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. And then there's a well. Okay, I did say we had to build down here, didn't I? Now, in all cases, resources and mana lords have to be physically moved. It can take a moment, so feel free to change the game speed if you feel like it. Game speed controls are in the bottom right. Yes, that I comprehend. So a marketplace. Oh, okay. So this cost me two... 
Okay, but how do I get them to do something constructive? Oh my word. Okay, flexible plots. Some buildings have flexible borders. Place four points to designate an area. The cursor will snap to roads and buildings to try to create an organic shape. I don't have any roads. Should I be remedying that? You can leave more space for future extension projects. Upgrades. Yeah, but I don't know how much space we're looking at. I think I need to be more well-versed in the game for that. First two points mark the front of the house by default. Okay, that makes sense. Should I put a road down? Uh... I just... I don't, I don't know how big these buildings are. <laughs> Plot too small. Okay. Okay. Right, okay. Well, y'all can do that. Go build. Unassigned families work on construction automatically. Okay. Timber transportation. Timber requires oxen to be moved. Villagers will automatically get the ox when they need it. Get the ox from where? Oh, it just appears out of absolutely nowhere. Okay. I'm going to take this slowly. I'm going to take the chance to watch these people build. The problem is we now need lumber. So I'm going to have to build a lumber camp, I dare say. Ah, but I need a well. Exposed goods pantry. You need a granary. And I need a storehouse. Yeah, we also need wood to build those things. <gasps> Construction cost. Oh, that's not good. Holy shit, that's massive. Can you guys build this before we uh, have an issue? Yeah, okay. I don't think I understand, but that's okay. What are you doing there, buddy? What happens if I run out of wood before I even get to build anything? Oh, that's not my wood. My wood's over here. Whoopsies. Burgage plots. Homeless will move to the plot, and if approval is high enough, it might attract new families too. However, families need more than just space to be happy. Click on the building to check on their residential requirements. Okie dokie. Residential requirements. Amenities. Water access. Um, uh, look, just get the logging camp up there, and I'll work on it. Church level. Jesus. Market supply. Fuel store supply. Food store supply. Clothing store supply. That's a bit picky. Sheesh. Okay, what about you? Same, same. Okay. Family members joined one of the settlers. Oh, wow. Well. Saving finished. Okay. Burgage plot level one. Alrighty. These are quite nice establishments we have here. Still don't have any roads, but you guys will get over that. So if you can build the logging camp, how do we get people? Do you guys just decide to come here? when there's uh, an approval rate oh it's on the way down homelessness one person is still homeless yeah look i'm trying to work on the timber situation first uh this oxen's taking a while a family member joins one of the settlers Guys, just all live together in harmony. Why are you going to be so difficult about this? Okay. So I need some sort of storage pit. Logistics? Granary, they want that. A storehouse. If needed, they will also automatically set up stalls on the marketplace to distribute the store goods to the burgage plots. A pack station. Set up a barter connection. Allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region you command. And a hitching post. Mm, it's not really what I'm after. I'm really just after a place to store this shit. A hunting camp. Gathering. Collecting honey.
produce firewood. Okay, that's something else entirely. You guys still going over here? Quite slow. Okay. This building has no assigned families. Select it and assign a family whenever you'd like to start production. While human workforce has to be assigned, by default, livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. However, you can bind it to a workplace typo permanently in the advanced tab. Just watch out so that you have unassigned oxen if you have any construction going on. I don't think I really understand. Assign family. Just the one? Sure. Log storage. We can only have 28. You can upgrade this thing. People, dits, felling a tree. Tommen, waiting. He's a woodcutter. Katarina, waiting. Waiting for what? Okay. Well, I needed you to produce more timber, sir. Because I can't construct more houses. And I can't construct... Ah, granary and shit until you start giving me more timber so how's that gonna work I have one log in storage oh you're moving it good 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 thanks mate thanks Heinz why is Madalena doing nothing and those are my three homeless people. Okay. Well, we can assign two families to this. Oh, hey. Nice. Guys, get in there. It's the only industry I have right now. Gonna work on food in a sec, but let's just work on what we've got here. Nickel, Endlane, and Kunrad. Deep branching a tree. Interesting. Okay, so I still only have the two pieces of wood that old mate just uh, took across the way. Okay, how does one get more oxen? That's the hitching post set. So you, we're bringing the oxen to the hitching post, correct? Stable space one. Oh, these buttons. Upgrade to a small stable requires uh, planks. Okay, order another ox. Well, there's no point because it's only got one spot. Okay, orders can be placed once a month and order a new horse. Costs me whatever that resource is. I don't know what that resource is. I don't see it. But okay. Uh, after placing an order, a livestock merchant will come to your town to deliver the... Oh, okay, yep. We'll just use the one ox for the moment. Oh, look at that. He's... he's Brushing out the ox. It's nice. We still only have two pieces of slumber. <laughs> Can you guys go quicker? Do you need the ox to bring the lumber to the town? Out of curiosity. I don't really know how this works. Let's be honest. Why are you two doing nothing? Can you go do something constructive? I uh, can't see inside buildings, probably just as well. But why are they why are they doing nothing? Okay, the ox is going wild and free. Oh, the ox is called Nickel! That's cute. Waiting, a guide is coming. Him or her? I think Heinz has become the unofficial guide <laughs> of the ox. Uh, but guys, come on. I don't have any additional lumber. I can't build any structures until you give me lumber. Okay, it now says four. Yet it's not in my log storage. Is it because I've got to move the logs across? You guys are doing way more waiting than I would like. Yes, okay, we've got to drag, okay. So the ox are pretty important. So we also need to, oh, it's hard to figure out what the priority is here. How much was the well? Residential. Well. Must be built over underground water. Actually, that's a nice little spot right out the front. Do you think a road can get past that well? Or do you think I should put it back here behind the plot? 
means I can't expand the plots, but I'm okay with that. Actually, that's my border, isn't it? Oh no, it's an animal habitat. Ooh, a bit close to that for comfort. Okay, I'm not quite sure the benefits of putting it here, but let's pop that there. If I could get somebody to head over there to construct it, that'd be great. Medium. Oh, the, we need the ox. God damn it, this fudging ox is going to be the death of me. <laughs> Did that cost anything to make? Yes, it costs one lumber. Okay, so we need to get that resource. That resource was this one here. No, it's this one. The saw pit. Right, because transform timber into planks. Okay. Interesting. That is interesting. I don't want them to use all my timber, though, because timber is a resource I need. Hmm. Okay, so that's almost a priority as well, though I think food is also a priority. What is this that I have 10 of? Tools, wooden parts, okay. So they're still not happy about the homelessness situation. Well, I mean, <laughs> this ox can only do so much, guys. <laughs> he's, he's doing his, his level best. I probably should have put that further back so I could have a straight line of buildings. Now I'm going to have to make my road go around. I didn't think about that, did I? How much do the roads cost? Ah! Roads and carts. Some workplaces allow villagers to use hand carts to transport up to 10 goods at once. However, pulling a hand cart off road is extremely slow, so make sure to connect your buildings to roads. How much does it cost though? Is this free? What resource am I using here? Is there a quick save? Hey, quick save. Woo! Uh, and to there? And then... No, 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 there. Build. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's work on that for now. Did that cost me anything? I have no idea. What is this? You see, we will focus on the job they were assigned to. Okay. And then we can start building here, the next house. We'll only build as many houses as we need, I think. Uh, they can work on their own priorities. Okay, the well is constructed. Go team. That hasn't put my approval rating up. Come on, guys. You have a well. <sighs> Clearly, they're not very happy about this. Okay, so here to get it. Sure. Too small. Okay, so this one has to go further out this way then. It's still too small. Oh, okay, I suppose. Looking at the other houses. Yeah, I can understand why. Okay, I guess we'll go further this way than I would like. Okay, okay, okay. I see. We're just... Mm -hmm. Okay. We have to go a little further this way than I was planning on doing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, did you see that tree just fell? How interesting. Okay. This cost me four lumber. Ish. Okay, is there technically a road in front of this home? That looks terrible, but whatever. It was too difficult trying to get the damn thing there. Oh, it's because I put it there. I should have connected it. Oh, I didn't see a plot point there. That would have made more sense. Oh well, we're here now. Okay, the well, the well's doing great. I don't really know the point of the well, quite frankly, but hey, go team. 
Oh no, we're going down by a point. Four people. Did I gain? Did I gain an inhabitant? Where is my population level, by the way? I don't know where my population is. That just tells me. Oh, there, twelve. No population growth approval. Look, I'm working on it, man. But with these two, we should be able to get extra housing. It's just the log production and the oxen. Okay, so we need to construct this, the saw pit, next to the timber yard. So then the oxen doesn't have to travel as far, right? And then I think we need to move the hitching post. Can I move it? I'd like to relocate you. To over here. Sharing the industry. There we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is going to take a while, but we're working on it. We're getting the extra residences up. Eventually, once this poor guy makes his way up here, poor little nickel, he's working his heart out to get rid of the homeless situation. Approval rating should go up. We should start getting people here. I can then upgrade my uh, hitching post to get another oxen, and that can help with the speed of this production. I feel this is going to be a very slow game. <laughs> I hope that the combat is likewise slow, so I don't, like, you know, get attacked without really knowing what's happening um hi guys anybody wants to come and construct this thing oh you guys are coming over perfect and magdalena's finally doing something yes to be fair she probably wants a home so she's probably invested in this because <laughs> she needs somewhere to live what are you doing and blaine going home uh, do these women not work okay katarina's working Fantastic. Go get them, Heinz. God, uh, th there's a long way to go for the trees. Just stay out of the animal territory. I'm not defending you when you die. I put this here because the trees were close. Duh. Can we replot trees? Is that a thing we can do? Logistics. Hitching post. Pack station. Just have a barter connection. Storehouse granary. Residential. I didn't finish looking at this, did I? Marketplace. Provide space for the assigned families to set up their stores and distribute their produce to the Burgage plots. A healthy supply and demand ratio of goods is needed to fulfill residential requirements and keep approval high. Mm, okay. A tavern! La entertainment requirement. Okay. Like many of your citizens, it needs ale to funk. How do I get ale? That sounds a little more complicated. A church. And a corpse pit. Ooh. Okay. So how do I make ale? Is it like an ale house? Roger, apiary, charcoal kiln? Hmm. Okay, we've got a field. So I can buy some crops. To employ peasants on the fields, you need to build a farmhouse. Marketplace, well, baggage plot. Where's a farmhouse? How do I do that? Oh, my supplies are getting wet. Rip. Oh, there. Oh, right next to the field. Okay, yep. Used to employ families on the field. Farm workers plough the fields as soon as the winter passes, but no later than November. Then they sow them with the chosen crop. Harvest happens around September. Then the crops are transported to the farmhouse and wheat is threshed into grain. Okay. Pasture. Provides pasture space for livestock. A sheep farm. A windmill converts grain to flour. Communal oven. Flour for bread. Industry. Bloomery converts iron ore into iron slabs. Needs to be refueled once per month. Oh, there is so much here. Clay furnace. A malt house. Wait, don't we need barley for ale? Hmm. Tannery. A weaver workshop. And a dyer's workshop. A trading post. 
Livestock trading post. New mercenary companies available. Dude, I don't even have houses. Let's just focus on that first, shall we? Settlers camp. Camp. Okay. Five starting families. Manor. Required settlement level small village. 250 influence. Uh, oh, right in the top right corner. And raises administration level by one. And cosmetic. A shrine. And get rid of shrubbery. Okay. Okay. So, what's happening here, guys? We've got half a house built, no house here built. Got puddles. This uh, saw pit is still under construction, as is the hitching post. Poor Nickel is doing his hardest. Can someone get these houses done? I really need them done. And that. But these families don't work until you get this shit done. How many approval went up a few percent? Homelessness. Why? What happened? No one's living in this house yet. Needs another piece of lumber. Come on, Nickel. Donate some lumber over here, please. Okay, the saw pit's done, which is great. Exposed toxic getting soaked. Yeah, I know, but I don't really know what you want me to do about it. I can't even get my freaking homes built. I've got bigger problems. Can we make this a high priority, please? Guys, flattening ground for what? I don't know. Are you coming? Who's coming? Well, I suppose we need nickel to come over here first, don't we? Because we need the extra log. And then I'll make that high priority as well. Slow and steady wins the race. He does go faster on the road, though, so the road was a good idea. Place road. How do we upgrade a road, out of curiosity? Because obviously we can get better than this, right? No? We can't pave anything? Okay, who's going to come build this? Come on, guys. We've got the wood. We've got the lumber. Let's go. You. Constructing. Fantastic. Show a little haste, guys. And I'll also put that as high priority. So Nickel gets the lumber across it. Guys, come on. Up on the left, down on the right. Let's get this right. Let's get this happening. I've got lumber here doing nothing. And then I've also got nobody working here. So I will reduce the families working here and give a family working there. Generic storage and log storage. One? One only one. I guess you only work on one lumber at a time. Don't quite know. Okay, yeah, supplies are getting absolutely destroyed here. We need a granary as well, but you need to build these homes, guys. Okay, so we now have a home. How do we still have homeless people? Yeah, I know food's a problem. I know. I don't really know what I can do with it because this bloody ox is so freaking slow. I don't know how I can fix your problem. <sighs> I don't know how you're building. It's <laughs> There's nothing you can do here right now. You need the lumber from Nickel. Come on, Nickel. Okay, a few people are working here, but no one's actually doing anything. Why? Because they're all at home, waiting for what I don't know. Show workplace, reassign family to a different workplace. What y'all doing? I need you to work. Pretty please, can you go do your job? I wish this gave me more of a tutorial, I'm gonna be honest. I'm like, I'm running out of food, but I don't really have a tutorial on what to do with the food. The hitching post hasn't even been constructed because this thing is taking so long. Can I upgrade the ox? He's taking forever. Yes, 
storehouse and a granary. See it at the top either. If needed, yeah, okay. Uh, I don't want to like block. Maybe I need another road going this way. Give me a road that goes past the hitching post. And out this way. And that gives me space to build the granary out here. I don't know if out there's a good idea. Where were the berries? Berry deposit. Ugh, it's the complete opposite direction to the direction I was going in. Uh, okay. Oh well. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Okay. Well in that case we'll go opposite here. And you want a storehouse. Okay. There you go, guys. You just need to get these things built. Can we increase the importance of the uh, hitching post? Okay. One more piece of lumber. Nickel just needs to get here. We get that house built. And then we can worry about the hitching post. And then once the hitching post is done, hopefully you guys are going to get your job done. Hello? Please do some work. What are you waiting for is what I don't understand. How do I help you do your job? Construction reserve. Reserve will never be used for crafting so that enough raw materials are left for construction. Oh. Five, I'd say. It's a good number to work with for the beginning. Um, so we need to move lumber here, I think, is the problem. This isn't going to happen until Nickel moves lumber here. But Nickel's too busy getting these buildings built. Hmm. This is problematic. How do I get them to not build until that's built and the logs are moved here? I don't know how to advocate for that. I'm going to be honest. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know how to fix that problem. Okay, you're constructed. How do we still have homelessness? Guys. Oh god, gained an extra person, god damn it. Why is someone still homeless? Move in with somebody else, man. I don't know what to tell you. Two of you living here. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do you know how long it took those homes to get built? Oh my god. I think I need another hitching post. And what was hitching post under trade? No. Farming? There, hitching post. Assign families become permanent ox guides. Maybe I should assign a family. There we go. Is is Heinz or whatever his name was going to work it? Wait, I thought Nickel was the ox's name. Oh, it's the guy leading the ox. Oh no. No, it is Heinz. Heinz isn't here. Ox handler. Then Hart. 
going home. I'm just going to build another one. It sounds like a waste. But I need more ox. This is too slow. Way too slow. Set this priority to high. God, this food situation is killing me. 